Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. The time is 7.03 a.m. here in cloudy Salem, Oregon. Yeah, today it's supposed to be 81 degrees or 27 Celsius. And currently it is 63 degrees or 17 Celsius. But uh, they were predicting rain. That wasn't rain. That was a, it wasn't even a drizzle. Didn't even get the streets wet. So much for that. So, yeah. So I am continuing my journey on my Harry Potter diamond painting. This is diamond painting number three of four of a mystery pack that I received last year on Amazon that I ordered. And... I did one little tiny enhancement. I had some three tens that were um, ABs, and I put them in the H here and then in the Hogwarts. Add a little bit of sparkle to it. So, yeah. And I have seven diamond paintings that I'm going to be doing. And like I said, this is number three. And I thought it would be fun to give you a few fun facts of Harry Potter. All right. And I know some of you aren't Harry Potter fans, but bear with me, okay? Don't go forward. Just bear with me. All right. Harry Potter has the same birthday as J.K. Rowling, who wrote the books. I know, it's true. Voldemort was 71 years old when he was defeated. He was pretty spry for 21, or for 71, I mean. <laughs> oh, brother. And the first and last things Dobie said was Harry Potter. Okay. Nothing exciting so far, huh? <laughs> J.K. Rowling loosely based Hermione on herself at age 11 and chose an otter as a Patronus Patronus, excuse me, as it's her favorite animal. Mm hmm. So, those are some fun facts. Okay, so what's going on here in my life? Well, last night was the softball game, but it was canceled. No idea why. No idea if they're going to make it up because the season is now over and the fall season starts in August and it appears that my other son who is next door is going to be on the team. <laughs> so some more fun for me to look forward to. Yeah, 
So that should be interesting. Yeah, I didn't want to put too much bling in this and use up all my good stuff, um, all my ABs. But I thought, oh, I think I could add a little bit of sparkle. Okay, and I know you are all on the edge of your chairs wanting to know about my album updates. So, let me get those. Okay, the ones that will be donated. The Bee Gees, Life in a Tin Can. I am thinking I really didn't like the Bee Gees early stuff. Um, I don't know if there's a date on this. Hmm, I don't see one. But I'm going to assume this is, you know, before they were in Saturday Night Fever and all that. Okay, um, Elton John, 21 at 33. The Bee Gees again. Monday's Rain. This says... 1964 Australian Sessions. There's a little bit of information about that. Uh, dire Straits, Money for Nothing, Rod Stewart, Out of Order, and never heard of these people before. B T O Street Action. No idea. Okay. Now to the ones I did like. A two record album. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison and San Quentin. And of course, Randy Travis, No Holding Back. No Holding Back. Charlie Rich, Very Special Love Songs. Now, this I had never heard of. Oh, no, 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 no. I take that back. This is a collection of different artists, and it's called Rock Fantasy. And it has the Spencer Davis group, Lonnie Mack, Cher, Paul Revere and the Raiders, um, Love and Spoonful, Impressions, Castaways. Yeah, I like that. So, I'm going to keep it. Okay. So I did get my stash sorted out yesterday, so I'll give you a little bit each day. Maybe I don't want to bore anybody, um, but I showed all my single um, da um, <sighs> diamond paintings canvases. <laughs> Can't get the words out. Um, yeah. And except I didn't show because I just did a um, unboxing uh, the Multnomah Falls. 
And I'm thinking when I do that Multnomah Falls painting, and I'm hoping to do that um, hopefully in September, I am going to look up some fun facts about Oregon and tell you. And you'll know a little bit more about Oregon and where I live. Because we have, we do have a lot of, you know, touristy things, uh, but a lot of things that maybe you can see here that you can't see other places that are kind of unique. Or a little bit of history. Yeah, so I thought that would be fun. Or not. <laughs> Let me know if you think you'd be interested in that. Anyway, so my next stash video are going to be ones that I bought as double. So you got two for one price. I'm not going to have time to do it today, but um, here in the next few days, I'll do that. And then, are you ready for this? I've got four packs, lots of four packs. So I'm going to kind of break those up over several days because there's quite a few. And then I have got tons of six packs. And then I have one 12 pack, which is the one I am going to be doing in January. I'll start those once a month. And those are from Tiny Fun, which I like Tiny Fun. So that's something to look forward to, huh? Rather than me sitting here being boring. So today on the agenda, I... took a shower, I had my laundry done. Did I say the time? Well, right now it's 7.15 a.m. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I gotta dry my hair yet. And then it's YMCA day, so I'm going to go pick up my granddaughters so they can go swimming for a few hours. And I am going to take my knitting with me, work on that project that I've been working on for months. It's such a simple pattern that I can, you know, watch them and knit at the same time. And people watch. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to tell you what I saw last time, but it was like, oh lady, did you look at yourself in the mirror before... You uh, put on that bathing suit. It was embarrassing, I will tell you that. Luckily, she was coming in for the next session just as my granddaughters were ending their session.
So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else am I going to do this morning? Um... Ellie went back to bed, so I can't make the bed until <laughs> she sprawled all the way across. <laughs> Negan escaped this morning, and so he came down <laughs> and was whining at the door. And so Ellie went out and romped around with him, and... my son noticed that Negan got out. He's fast. So I'm sure he opened up the door and out went Negan. <laughs> Run down here real quick to see Ellie. <laughs> oh, I can just picture it in my mind. <laughs> He's so funny. Then my son came down and got him before he went to work, and yeah, he escapes and he makes a beeline for to come down here to see Ellie. He must have really been wanting to play with her. last night. No, I haven't watched any more of the Harry Potter. Uh, I'm going to try to get through the rest of it today. I struggle with this part of, you know, these last movies. I struggled with the books too. looks like probably already um, DP Crazy Lady's next video is going to be up for some reason we have a change <laughs> and she scheduled it for this morning <laughs> I thought what what is that I've never had that come up before an alert like that Getting fancy over there. All right, what's going on? Why won't that? There. I might do a video when I get home. We'll see. Because it won't be till. Oh my gosh, five o'clock my time. Okay, so whose videos have I been watching? Okay, Becky Sloan, she did a whip and chat. So we got to see her progress on Golden Valley. She's motating right along. She's to the horse. And Becky, 
I would have to get my painting out because I've already put it away and I don't know if that was a person standing there. I completely missed it, so I don't know. And then, let's see, who else did I watch? Let me look. Um, Mike's on vacation, so nothing there. Uh, let's see. I watched Diamonds by Tita. And it sounds like she's also going to be doing stash videos. So that'll be interesting to see what's in her stash. She said something about a UPS strike. I hadn't heard about that. So that'll be interesting too. But I guess she ordered the same diamond painting that DP Crazy Lady's working on. I'm still drinking coffee, but today I have French Vanilla Crema. Change it up today. Anyway, Tita is working on a beautiful Christmas painting. It is so cozy. And I think that's the name of it. Cozy Christmas. It does look cozy. <laughs> All these diamond paintings that I want. Oh my gosh. But alas, I got a lot to work on, so. That's the problem. There's always new diamond paintings out. And, you know, it's just a want, want, want. Rather than, you know, you don't want to for me, I mean, I don't want my diamond paint, just buy diamond paintings to be buying them, and then they're just laying there collecting dust. Because unlike some, I do my diamond paintings. I bought them for a reason. And I'm going to do them. didn't buy them to go broke. I agree with you, Tita. Especially, you know, the premium ones, you know, they're so expensive. I mean, they're, they're well worth it. It's just that they're so expensive. And... I live on a pretty strict budget, so and my way of thinking is I have enough to do um, that I don't need to take away from my obligations. to pay some bills that I have to pay to get a diamond painting that, you know, although, I mean, you know, I hope you know what I mean. I mean, I would love to have them, but the 
priority is. You need to pay your bills before you go in debt with your hobby. Okay, my camera's kind of taken over here, so I'm having a hard time seeing where to put these drills. But it was nice that I had such generous friends that gave me some nice birthday presents for diamond painting. Because believe me, I would not have bought them. Because it's just not in the budget right now. So I got paintings that I am blessed to have. And you know, I mean, if you're on a strict budget, a budget friendlies, there's, there's some really nice budget friendlies out there. And um, you know, and you got to remember, these ones that cost more money, they're bigger, and they do take a while to complete. Plus, they, t you know, also, you, I don't know, for me, I really have to like the painting to invest all that time in just one painting. And if you're a person that likes variety and whatnot, the smaller paintings are for you. I mean... one good thing about diamond painting there's a lot of options out there and I have done budget paintings for five years this is the first year that I have gotten premium paintings so it just goes to show you can still enjoy diamond painting in this craft and do budget paintings because there's some fun ones out there. I thoroughly like all of mine. But I've learned over the years now <laughs> You don't buy a painting just to buy it. You know, I really examine a painting. Um, if I look at it differently than I did when I first started diamond painting. And I look to see how much color blocking is on there. Um, not so much confetti that doesn't really concern me but if there's you know one picture in the middle and the rest of it is all one color and you have color blocking I probably won't buy it because I do not enjoy a lot of color blocking for the background where that's the in my opinion and it's just my opinion the focus of the whole picture I like things with color and, um, you know, like this one. It has little blocks of color, but it has, you know, there's so much more to it. 
if that makes sense. And my 30 minutes is up already. Okay, I am out of here. And thanks for stopping by and <clears throat> listening to my jibber jabber. And remember, everything I discuss is just my opinion. My rambling thoughts for the moment. They may change tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> talk to you later.